Hey there, my name is Ink. Today I'm back in Minecraft, but I can't stop moving. Our goal today is to beat the Ender Dragon, and if you enjoy, I'd really appreciate if you subscribed. Let's get into it. Alrighty, now today we are using a data pack that makes it so if I stop moving for just one second, my character dies. So we'll have to make sure we keep moving, but it doesn't seem like there's any requirement for moving at a certain speed, so it shouldn't be too hectic, I hope. <laughs> we'll see though. With that said, I do want to give a big thank you to David Rockin one for the video idea, and also I want to mention that you can download the pack down below if you'd like. With that all said though, let's get some trees. Alright. Now, we've gotten enough wood, and usually I just put a crafting table down and make a wooden pick, but I found when I was testing the pack that I can't craft anything in one second. So instead, there are two ways we can work around that. The first is right here. If we just drop into the water, since we're slowly sinking, it counts as movement. So starting out, this is where we'll do all our crafting. Let's make a crafting table and let's make a wooden pick. Now, I think I need, how much stone? I think I need 25 stone because I want to make a full set of tools as well as two furnaces. So let's grab that. Now we've got that. So let's head back to the crafting table and make a stone pick, a stone axe, a stone shovel, a stone sword, and two... Oh, oh, I'm running out of water. Two furnaces. There we go. Wait. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm running out of air. Now that we have that there, though, I do need some food. And since we're in an ocean, I guess let's get some fish. You know, this might sound random, but I was wondering, do you guys have any recommendations for types of fish to try? I'm someone who hasn't had fish very often, like I've probably only had it a few times in my life, and the only time I can remember having it, I, I, I mean it was worth it, I was given $20, this was crazy. $20 to eat a massive chunk of sushi. It made me feel queasy, but that was, I mean, that was good money. I, I was like 14 at the time. So, I mean, it was worth it. But probably ever since then, I haven't, I don't know if I've tried fish since then. So if you guys have any recommendations for someone who's not had fish much, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments below. All right. It has been a fair bit of time, and I have just about a stack and a half of fish. Admittedly, I'm a little bit unsure of where my crafting table is. I think it's this way. There it is. I did also just notice I don't have gamma on. Usually I turn on gamma, which is this. It makes the, the whole screen brighter. And I just turn it on because it makes it easier for me and it I think it generally makes the video look better, but if you were wondering why it was dark and now it's light, that's that's why. With that said though, oh no, oh no, oh no, uh, please leave me alone, stop! I'm out of hunger, this is bad, this is really bad! Go, go away, oh no, I'm on half a heart, um, I, oh, it's okay, it's not too far away. Okay, um, let me do F3B so I can see where all my items are. I don't know where the skeleton went, admittedly. Oh, oh, he's just right there. That works for me. That, however... Uh-oh. Okay. I'm gonna deal with this guy real quick. Now that we've dealt with all of those, uh, people... Let's make a bit of charcoal and then smelt up all this food. 
<laughs> I can't have you exploding my food, sir. Oh, heck. Wait, what? Well, I was lucky. I guess he was counted to be in the water. Fair enough. Alrighty. Now, we have plenty of food. And I do want to go mining. But just before that, I want to get some beds. So I'm going to go look for either sheep or a village, and I'll let you know what I find. I feel like this might be an area where there could be a village? There are some sheep there. Oh, there are a lot of sheep there. That works. And there's a cave here too. That's pretty good. Also, good timing on finding the sheep. It is becoming nighttime rather quickly. And a ruined portal, oh my goodness. I'm scared of stopping moving now, because I've traveled quite a distance to get here, and uh, I actually don't know my way back if I die. So let's hop into the river here, and very promptly make up a bed. What? Whoa, 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 wait, what? I guess I can't sleep. I can set my spawn though, which is good. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Okay, uh, well, no worries. We, we have our spawn set here now, which is good. And, uh, I guess since there are other sheep around, it would probably be a good idea to get those so we can make extra beds. So I'm going to grab these real quick. It's kind of amazing how many sheep there are. I was hoping there would be a lot, because I'd like to have a couple extra beds just in case. But I actually wasn't really expecting it. So this is a nice surprise. I think I saw a couple more over here, maybe? Perfect. Okay. In total, we will have... How many is that? Four beds, including the one we placed down. <laughs> there are quite a few mobs around, but I think we'll be good. I'm gonna craft up these three extra beds, and I think I'm gonna look for a cave. Actually, there was a cave over there, so I'll go over to that. Okay, this may be a little risky, but I'm gonna bring this bed with me, so I have all four. If anything seems to get scary, I will immediately place this down. But I think we'll be good. There aren't many mobs in the general vicinity. So let's make our way back to the cave, which I think is this way. Okay. Okay, here it is. Um, I'm gonna try and get in a little cubby here. Or like, dig a cubby hole. And put a bed in it. Actually, you know, I'm going to put a bed here just to start. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> hey, we got the respawn point down. That's all that matters. There are creepers here. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, stop. 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 Dude. Oh my gosh. This is, this is more chaotic than I was expecting. Okay. Sorting your inventory with this data pack is kind of scary too. Because you have to flash open the inventory and very quickly click. Whew! Wow, 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 wow. Let's make a little, uh. a little cubby in the wall now. So that we have a place to stay. Uh oh. I, I was trying to craft some doors. No, it's all flowing away. Why? How is that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Where did all my stuff go? Um, F3B. Okay, okay. We can do this. We're good. I just finished digging out the, the cavern. Or, not the cavern. Like a little cubby hole in the wall. And, uh, well, I was trying to craft some doors for it. And then this happened. Give me my bed. Give it back. Stop. Stop doing this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. 
now. Safely this time. Let's, <laughs> let's put the spruce planks in here. Oh, heck. <laughs> no, my stuff. I do think we have everything. And I did manage to craft the doors. So I think we're doing okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't have broken the bed. Now I'm scared. Okay. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh. We're good. Oh. <laughs> it's so it's so scary trying to deal with beds. I would not have expected beds to be my downfall. Okay, now we have this. Uh even though I have gamma on, stuff can still spawn. So I'm going to make one torch real quick or four, I suppose. And we will light this up, and now we have a home. Sick. <laughs> Alright, now just before we go mining, I'm gonna make a chest and put most of my stuff in it. Cause, man, this is a little bit frightening. And I feel like this is a safe option. <laughs> also, I should block this off so my stuff doesn't get washed away again. Okay. Admittedly, my inventory is a little bit of a mess, but it, it, it's hard to sort your inventory with this. <laughs> so I'm just going to go start mining. First up, I'm going to look for some iron. And I think I saw a little bit of that near the entrance of the cave. Now let's grab this iron. And I think in total, I'm going to try and get like 20-ish, maybe. I think that should be enough. So let's go grab that. Also, can I just say this cave is absolutely terrifying to traverse. There are spikes everywhere. You can fall down holes everywhere. There's a creeper right there. Ah, uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, there's a good amount of iron though. So that's good. <laughs> Ooh, we will also need some coal to smelt this. So let's grab that as well. Oh my gosh, I just heard a creeper fall behind me. Bro, you can't do that. What are you doing, man? Okay. Okay, we're good. I'm just gonna cut back once I have all the iron, because I think it'll be pretty quick. Alright, I have 24 iron now. And I think that should be plenty. So let's head up to my little base camp thing and smelt it up. Ooh, while that's smelting as well, I'm going to grab a piece of gravel and try and get a flint for a flint and steel. There we go. Okay, we have flint and this is almost smelted up. So I guess let's start by crafting a flint and steel. Oh, oh, okay. And then we can make one of the most important things. Oh. And then we can make one of the most important things. A bucket. And now... Now, now we've just sort of leveled up. So I can put this... We're gonna put this. I can put this here. And now I have even longer to interact with stuff. Which is very, very nice. Now that we have all that though, what else do I want to craft? I want to craft a shield for one. That right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Even with the the new new bucket, it's still going to be a little tricky. But as I was saying, let's craft up let's, <laughs> let's craft up a shield. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll get back to you once I've crafted a shield. Oh, okay. That was clutch. Okay. We have a shield now. What else did I want to craft? I want to make an iron... <laughs> this is such a struggle. I want to make an iron pick. Oh my gosh. Dude, I can't do this. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Now we have an iron pick, and lastly, for the time being, I am going to make an iron chest plate as well. 
That's a block of iron. I think I got the chest plate though. Huh? I think? Okay, we have an iron chest plate now. And for the rest of the iron, we have eight ingots. I'm just gonna save that for if we need a new shield or something later. With all that though, I do also want to get some diamonds for armor and also for tools. So I'm going to sort my inventory and we can go look for some diamonds. All right, it took a little bit, but we are all sorted out and I'm just going to start heading down. I'm going to mark my cords here <laughs> without dying, hopefully. And now... I mean, this cave looks like it goes pretty deep, so I'm just gonna go. Oh, I think I've made my way back to the surface somehow. Oh, that's a cool cave. It's like a tree and stuff in it. That isn't quite what we're looking for, so I'm gonna try a different direction. This is looking more like it. Uh, there is some deep slate all the way down here. I don't have any doors on me though, so I can't get infinite air down there. Let's see if it goes this way. Okay. We're into the negatives on the y-axis. This is looking promising. Hey! Here's some diamonds. One? You know, okay, one's a start. Now, while we're down here, I think I want to get, even my notes, I want to get 29 diamonds so that I can make full diamond armor, a pick, and a sword. So, I, I'm just going to start gathering some, and we'll see how that goes. Hello, Mr. Spider. Oh, okay, already a three vein, oh, a four vein, five vein? Hey, that's pretty good. Good ass. And more? Dude, I, I'm i pretty sure they did buff diamond spawn rates. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. Oh, hey, yo, bro. Uh, dude, I'm trying to talk, <laughs> Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Okay. Holy moly. As I was saying, I think they buffed diamond spawn rates in... I don't know if it was... It's one of the 1.20 versions on Java Edition. But it has made such a difference when you're trying to find diamonds. It is so nice. And for anyone curious, currently I'm playing on 1.20.4. But I'm pretty sure the update came out for 1.20.2. Uh, the one that buffed the diamonds, that is. We're already up to 12 diamonds, which... Did he just die on the stalactite? Um, <laughs> okay, we're already up to 12 diamonds, which is good. Um, dude, so much stuff has happened so far. It keeps making me lose my train of thought. What was I even talking about? The 1.20 update that buffed diamonds. The, uh, oh, oh golly. Um, maybe it would do me some good to make some diamond armor right about now. I think I'm going to do that. So let's craft up a crafting table. And we have 12 diamonds, so we can make... I don't know what's better. We could make a chest plate and boots, or leggings and a helmet. I'm gonna assume... Actually, since we already have an iron chest plate, it's probably better to do the pants and the helmet. So I'll do that. We're kind of cruising right now. We've gotten 12 diamonds out of 29 in... It's probably only been about 7 or 8 minutes, which isn't too bad. And now I feel a lot safer with this diamond armor. So, I'm gonna go get the rest of those diamonds now. Now you see, there are some diamonds here, but there is also lava. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. I think I'm okay. Okay, I think we're good now. 
That is... Two diamonds? Oh my gosh, I almost just died. If you hear those... I don't know how to describe that sound. The beep boop? That is... Sort of the warning bells. Saying, hey, you should probably move. Now I don't see any more diamonds down there. So I'm just gonna keep on going. Well, that's convenient. Aren't normal diamond ores pretty rare now? That's actually really cool. I don't know if I've seen one of those recently. Ooh, Lush Cave. Holy guacamole. That is a massive cave. Oh my word. Dude, the Caves and Cliffs update is wild. I know it's old by now. I'm not old, but like, a little bit old. But it is still so cool to me. I've been playing Minecraft for... Oh my gosh. Like, 11 years now. And honestly, the Caves and Cliffs update is... Kinda just mind-boggling. We had those tiny little, like, weaving and winding caves for so many years. And, I mean, this is just cool. <laughs> Holy cow. This goes so far down. Oh my goodness. Also, I really do like all the different versions of the fish. It's crazy. There's something like... What is it? Like almost 4,000 combinations? I wonder if anyone's done a hardcore series trying to get every fish combination. Mad respect if they did. Because that... That's crazy. <laughs> I found a few more diamonds here. Oh, oh my word. Okay, quite a few more diamonds. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Okay. How many is that? We have 12 and there's more here. We're very close to getting the last diamonds we need. I think we only need four more. And I'm kind of proud of myself. I've not died yet. Well, I mean, I've not, <laughs> I've not died on this specific cave excursion. It may not sound like much, but that, that, that's a lot for me. <laughs> Where am I? I think I went down the wrong corridor. Oh, maybe it was the right corridor. Is there the last diamonds here? Okay, one. Two, three, just one more. Ah, so close. Okay, we just need one more diamond. Oh my word. Okay, okay, we're good. I'm just gonna run. I think I saw a glimpse of a diamond. Oh, I mean, that works. Am I getting greedy? Oh my gosh, I'm getting greedy. Okay, I'm just gonna grab one and I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> okay. Yo, okay, we're back. Holy moly. That, this, this has been an exciting session so far. Now, let's craft up, what do we want to craft? We want to craft up the rest of the diamond armor, as well as the diamond pick and diamond sword, after dealing with this guy. Alrighty, let's hop in here. Uh-oh. Okay, up in here carefully, make some sticks, and make a chest plate, some boots, a pickaxe, and a sword. And now we're all kitted up. I'm gonna sort my inventory out real quick, and then I think we're good to go find some lava to speed portal in. Pretty sure that's the next step. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a sec there. Alright, uh, my inventory's still a little messy, but I think it's functional for now. Before we find the lava lake, though, actually, I do need to grab some wood to make an item that will help us in the nether. Let's head to the surface real quick. Alright, now I made it to the surface, and I mined quite a few trees, and the reason we needed that is because 
we can't use water if we need to craft anything in the nether. So the other thing that I found was just using ladders. It's a little bit janky, but it does work. So that's what we are going to go with. I think however many sticks we have here, this should be enough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that'll be plenty. That's 45 ladders. Yeah, okay, that's 45 ladders. Holy cow. I don't know why it just dropped me off the edge. With that now, we should be good to go look for a lava pool. So let's go see what we can find. Oh, uh, uh, don't look at that. You didn't see anything. Now, I don't know. I think I've seen maybe two lava pools above ground, maybe one or two below. So I'm just going to stroll around and see if I can find some lava up above here. There is a lava source block, but it's not a pool. You know, we could maybe complete that nether portal, actually. That's... Huh. I think this happened in the last video. We found, like, a, a completable nether portal. I... This does not happen often to me. Like, the, the fact that it's happened this time again is very odd to me. But we can definitely use that. We don't need to even find, like, a full-on lava pool. That's pretty good stuff. Oh, 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 that's close. <laughs> How do I check this chest? I guess I can do this. Okay, no notch apple. A bit of gold and stuff, though, which isn't too bad. Let's deal with this guy and set up a bed because again this challenge is somewhat scary okay i didn't die that time it's good <laughs> i guess let's put the water over here and move a few pieces of lava because last time i did this with a ruined portal I accidentally covered up all the lava. So let's try not to do that. Oh, don't do that. You know, I guess that's fine. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why so much stuff is attacking. Where was that? Oh, there he is. Hey, man. There we go. I think that was the last guy that was near us. Let's put a water bucket there and grab some lava from over here. Put one there and one here. And then finally, we will put the last block right there. And we have another portal. Now, let me think if there's anything I need to do before we go through. I guess I'll put down a chest here next to the bed and put just any extra gear I have in case I do die. At some point, I seem to have lost my furnaces, but I think that's okay. I also don't have many building blocks. I'll bring this dirt that I have, and then I guess I can grab some extra netherrack if I need to. And I suppose, I guess I can leave my water bucket here? since I won't have any use for it in the nether. I think I've got all my stuff sorted out. So let's head on through. I have to be careful to make sure I'm moving left and right. Otherwise, I will die when I go through the portal. Okay, this is a scary spawn. Hmm. I don't have any gold armor either. Oh my gosh. Dude, I swear, I promise you, I do not plan these seeds. That is a nether fortress right here. And a warped forest! That's so sick. Oh my word. Hey, I mean, oh my gosh, there are two fortresses and a warped forest. That is insane. I, I'll leave the seed down below. I would do the command right now, but if I do that, I think I will die. Because I'll be standing still. Wow. That is amazing. 
Huh. I okay. Well, let's start off with the start off with the warped forest, I suppose. I'm gonna start by grabbing some netherrack. <laughs> it just played the beep boop noise. I swear I was not standing still. I have to be so careful while I'm in the nether. Is 45 blocks enough to get across there? It seems like it should be. Okay. Okay, that was enough to get us over the lava, which is very good. We're not quite fully connected, but I'll just do that real quick with some blocks here. There we go. Now, the Warped Forest is pretty close, I th think, by the looks of it. Cool. I mean, I'm still kind of dumbfounded at the spawn. This is amazing. Now that we're here, I'm just going to do what I usually do and tunnel into a wall and pull a ton of aggro. And, oh my goodness, hi guys. Uh... After I deal with these guys, I'm just gonna quickly grind out 16 ender pearls. Oh, I'm getting better at that. Oof, I'm crazy. Right now, I'm just looking for a spot that I can dig into and keep aggroing stuff from. But this is a pretty covered up warped forest, so. I'm gonna take a little bit of time and search around for a good spot. Is that a third? That's not a third nether fortress, is it? Oh my gosh, I think it might be. That is... Oh my... What? Holy cow. Yeah, again, if any of you want to check out the seed, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll not just leave the seed, but I'll leave the cords to where I set up the portal. Because this is bonkers. I'm trying to think, in the straight line video, actually in the straight line video it was really rough trying to get a fortress. The warped forest we found pretty quickly, but, and that fortress was like 6,000 blocks away. This is a very nice breath of fresh air. Ooh, you know, I just remembered someone in the comments, again, I think of the, the straight line video mentioned that if you turn your render distance way down, you can get stuff to sort of spawn up in a clump. So I might try that for these Endermen here. Let's see. If I go... I mean, this is a decent spot to dig into the wall. Let's dig right here. I don't know where my pickaxe keeps going. Uh, let's go right here. And if I turn my render distance down to the lowest it can be. Hopefully I'll be able to find more Endermen more quickly. I might have to unload and reload some of these chunks, just because we've had it all loaded previously. So it might have already hit the mob cap, I don't know. I mean, there's one. Where did you go? I'm not crazy, am I? There was one right here, I think. Oh, there you are. Alright, now that I have a general idea of how I'm going to get these guys, I will cut back once I have all the pearls I need. Oh. Hmm. Well, this is a little bit awkward. Uh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have turned on music. I was sort of jamming out to some music, and uh, I'm kind of not alive. I have a general idea of my location where I died, so hopefully, oh my word, hopefully I will be able to make it back there safely. Okay, so... Because I was concerned that I might die, I did take a screenshot or two in the general location. So I have an idea. It's about another 
150 blocks this way, the most recent screenshot that I took. So hopefully, if I turn on F3B as well, hopefully I will be able to find it. And survive. Holy moly! What am I saying? You know, it won't be the end of the world if I did lose that stuff. Like, I'd like to find it. But we'll make do either way. Also, I don't know how many mobs have gotten here or how they've gotten here. But it's kind of crazy. Okay, we're in the warped forest now. So as long as I don't look at any dudes, I think we should be fine. Now the question is, where did I die? So I'm close to the general area. Remember a little area with these vine things that I dropped down into? It was all netherrack. So I'm trying to see where that might be. Let's see. Okay. Oh, <gasps> wait, no way. Okay. Wait, no, we're close. Hold up. It's possible. The comeback is possible. Oh, okay. So I was here recently, just before I died. And which way did I go from here? I've been here based on those being broken. No flipping way. Holy cow. We found it. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just going to take a pause and like collect myself. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I was, I was like already kind of ready at the fact that I might not see my stuff again. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Woo. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to put this here and get food on my hotbar. Holy moly. I'm going to screenshot my exact location as well. Good stuff. Okay. Um, uh, sorry about that distraction. Uh, I will <laughs> once again get back to you once I have all the ender pearls. Okay. Well, that is the 16th pearl. I will admit I almost died several times and I did die one other time. But for the sake of the the length of the video, I uh, I cut it out. Now that we have these though, I I'm going to head back home and put these in the chest where they are safe. And then we can go get the blaze rods. There is a piglin here and he has a crossbow. He's a scary man. But other than him, I think we are home free. Let's head back through and put away these ender pearls. Because holy moly, that was... That was an excursion. Also, you, 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 you don't do that, please. Help. Okay, everything's fine. What was I doing? Oh yeah, okay. We're gonna store this and store some of the extra stuff. And after that, we will be good, I think, to go to the nether fortress. That's all sorted out. So let's go. Now, I think we have two or maybe even three nether fortresses we can pick from. So let's just see whichever one is closest. There's one through here, down there. There is one over there, I think. And then also, if I'm not mistaken, there might be one this way. Let me up my render distance again. Okay. Yeah, there's also one over there. Let's see how far this one extends towards us. I think that's probably the one to go for. Yeah, this looks pretty good. It is surprisingly close, which is nice. And there's relatively safe land we can cross to get to it. Other than these guys. Oh my word. This is crazy. Calm down. And there are skeletons, too. I need to be careful here, because I will have to... Actually... No, I don't have to cross lava. I think we're okay. I thought I would have to cross this lake, but it looks like there's a land bridge around it. There is a... Hoglin, however, who I don't 
really like. Admittedly. Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. I. <laughs> I kind of forgot the data pack was on, if I'm being honest. I think that should be easy to get back to, though. So we should be fine. Hopefully, my stuff didn't fall in the lava. I think we were probably fine. I. <laughs> really? You really did that. Are you for real, bro? He took my armor. Are you serious? <laughs> Get back here, you rat. Give me that back. That is so uncalled for. Oh my word. Okay. Um, let's get somewhere safe where we can re-equip our stuff. And, <laughs> and I'm gonna genuinely try to focus up now. Cause we don't seem to have lost oh <laughs> we don't seem to have lost anything important at least holy moly i genuinely was trying to focus there <laughs> okay i'm glad i got to a safe space before trying to re-equip stuff now i'm gonna like totally mega giga focus it at least as well as i can Okay, I might have lost the ladders, but that's not a huge deal. We have at least all the armor but one piece, which is really not bad. Let's start heading over this way and see if any of the other pieces survived. This is a spot where I really have to focus, oh my gosh. Okay, I think that's all of our stuff that we can get back. We have full armor. I think the only thing we really lost was the... Hey, oh, no, not again. <laughs> I think the only thing we really lost was the ladders. So, I will count that as a win. Let's go around the scenic route and not be near the lava. Holy moly. That, that is so much lava. I thought I was getting... <laughs> I thought I was getting away from the lava by going this way. What the heck is going on? This spot was more treacherous than I thought it was. I have to be very careful right now. Alright. I think we are into the nether fortress. I hear blazes. Which might mean there is a spawner nearby as well. Which would be very nice. Okay, it says we're in the fortress now, which is good. Oh, I, again, I promise these these things are not planned. This is just a wild episode right now. What the hey? What? How even? What are the odds? Um, this is actually kind of a tricky spot to be in though, because I'm directly below it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this way a bit and then pop up further away so that I have a little bit of wiggle room in between me and them. Oh, hey, how's it going, man? What, what's up? Oh, hey, hi. Okay, well, let's, uh, <laughs> let's get eight blaze rods, I suppose. <laughs> so many. Yeah. Okay, that's one. Just seven more to go. Um, I don't quite know what to do. That is actually, like, legitimately too many blazes. If I can get them to start crawling over here one by one, that would be good. I mean, that's a second blaze rod. I guess I can do this. This way. Just sort of running in headlong. I'll just have to be careful that I don't run out of food. This is going far better than I was expecting. I say that... <laughs> I need to stop talking. 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 <laughs> hey, we have most of the blaze rods now, to be fair. 
just gotta make my way back. One more time. There we go. I That actually wasn't that bad to get back here. Now let's see if all of our stuff is left. I think it should be fine. Hey! Let's go. Uh, now how do I re-equip that stuff? Is the next question. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> now, now really, how do I re-equip that stuff? That, that was... Pfft. Okay, I have a pickaxe. Which is good. If I can make my way over there, I can then open my inventory and ladder up, I think. I just have to keep moving. I have to keep moving. I cannot afford to stop moving in this scenario. Oh, there goes my water. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. 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 Hmm. Now ha. Hmm. Okay. Now if I dig a hole right here. Yeah. Okay. This is how I'll do it. Then I can put the twisting vines in it. And go even higher. <laughs> and now I can re-equip stuff. This will act as my ladder. This is so scuffed. We do have five... Well, five blaze rods, though. Okay. I'll leave this here just in case we need it again. Now. The mission is simple. We just need... The mission is simple. We just need... <laughs> <laughs> Three more blaze rods. Oh my word. Holy cow. That's a lot of guys. Come on now. Whoop. So they all fire. I can get this guy. Maybe I was just being a goober. And I, I should have just taken it slower. Oh wait. That guy dropped a blaze rod. Okay. We're at six out of eight. Okay. We've got this. You. Okay. Seven. Just one more. One more. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. I, I'm doing the smart move and I'm running away. That <laughs> dude, if I had stayed there a second longer, I was so dead. Okay. The last blaze rod. Come on, man. Give it to me, man. One more. Just one. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to make my way back home and I'll let you know if anything happens on the way. Alrighty, I have sorted out my inventory somewhat, and I've cooked up a bit of extra food, and I think we are ready to go to the end. Let's see which way to go. Here we go. All right, well, after just a bit of a hike, I believe we have found the stronghold. There are a couple mobs around, though, so I'm going to deal with them real quick. All right, that's just actually directly down right here. Perfect. So let's start heading down. Oh. Looks like we've broken into a cave before the stronghold. It's a pretty small cave by the looks of it. What Y level are we at? 14. So we probably still have maybe 40, 50 blocks to go. And there's another cave. And there's the stronghold. Okay. Good stuff. Now that we're here, we just gotta find the whatchamacallit, the portal room, and we will be good. Wow, that was fast. Well, now that we're here, I'm going to break this very promptly. Oh, a five eye portal is pretty good, I think. Let's just block off this entrance here and <laughs> deal with this guy. And we can put the bed down here don't think there's any any way we could lose our stuff. Actually, I'm going to block off all of the lava. 
Actually, mm, the only problem with blocking off all the lava is there'll be no light in here. Let me see. I think I can make some torches. There we go. Now if I just block off this lava right here, we can do... Is it H? Do I have that installed? Not H. Yeah, H. Okay. And this shows the light level and stuff. I'll, uh, I'll have the link for this mod down below. It's just a nice one to have for quality of life. With that all said, let's grab... Actually, I'm going to double check that I set my spawn. Now, let's grab the chest and put that down here. That is not what I meant to do. Perfect. Now I'm just going to sort my inventory one final time. And I think we will be ready to fight the dragon. I do kind of want to try clutching with the twisted vines. If we do have to clutch. So I'm going to bring those as well. Alright. Let's grab the water bucket. And let's head on through. I am genuinely glad that we spawned in the underground one, in one that's not over the void. Because that would be scary. Alrighty. Let's start off by getting the crystals. That's number one. You know, I... I'm going to start off. I'm going to start off with a Twisted Vine Clutch. <laughs> you know, fair enough. Let's get this one here. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't try to clutch until the end. Otherwise, I'm going to die a lot of times. And you know, I'm just going to really quick... I'm just going to break all of the crystals, and I will get back to you. Now that we have all the crystals down, we just got to wait for her to perch. And then we can get her. Speaking of, I don't have my sword equipped, though. Okay. Oh! Okay. Okay, it's fine. We can come back in. Uh oh. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. We're all kitted back up. And she's at about three quarters health. Also, how did that guy get up there? That's kind of impressive. Here she comes again. Let's get on the other side. And smack her in the face. Holy cow, she's pretty low. Okay, I think this is actually the last time she'll need to perch. I'm not gonna jump, I'm just gonna swipe the sword. I st <laughs> I forgot to move. We did it though. Um, hey, I mean, wait, the health bar is still there. It's, I hope she's not stuck in her death loop. Or death animation. Okay, no, we're good. All right. Well, <laughs> well, with that all done now, I think that's all for me for now today. I really do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Bye bye.